we can go one more time. Uh, um, I tell you what we want. I want to do though, since we have some extra, uh, uh we have some extra uh, mana laying around. I want to go ahead and I want to go ahead and level up, level him up, so we get I get the shiny card. I want I want the shiny character card. So we do that, and I think he gets the shiny card now. I just want the shiny card. This is this is like yeah. Now it's now we got a foil. Hmm. This is our There's kind of game. Like this is this is what I was looking for. That's how why I kind of said like there before it was kind of like Slay the Spire. Island. Now it is like Slay the Spire. And it's really, really cool. A considerable relic. Let's do Seed of Life. I want to do ah, Seed of Life this time. Alright, give me an Ice Bolt. See if we freeze him. We do. So, draw me a card. Hit him with a pair of sevens. And then Arcane Volley. For the win. Boom, boom. All right, these change every time, which is really cool too. So you know, you're ne we're never going to be taking the same path. So let's get a new ability. Time warp flame. Lion's mane's just good. Successful attacks deal one damage and prevent healing until the end of the turn. Let's lion's mane it. Um, we're going to want to add another ability and we're going to want to remove an ability and we'll still be able to get to the level up. So let's go this way. My power is ancient. All right. We got a, we got a lantern fox. We can hit the lantern fox with a pair of queens and then we can fire him. We're going to add another ability. See what we can get. Um, Ice Javelin's pretty good. Roar at Dawn. You have no red cards. Overdraw five cards. Mage Hand. Deal two damage to the defender after a successful attack. I'm not... Not happy about any of those. Those are all like very mid cards. We got really lucky last time with the fireballs and the lion's manes. It's kind of, uh, it's kind of spoiled me a little bit. I think. Of the lion. Feel a little spoiled. Don't have a jack, so I can't do that. Right, let's just hold off. Hopefully, uh, he doesn't draw a pair of aces. We got a nice javelin for next turn, My so. Power is ancient. Let's go ahead and unearth first. And go ahead and ice javelin. Alright, let's get rid of the card trick. If we can, we're gonna try to hit another one and get rid of the other hard card trick as well. Alright, we got. We got options here. We could go with some trip tens real quick. That'll be three damage. So let's do that. And we'll follow that up with the arcane volley. And hopefully the arcane volley hits one of them. One of the arcane volley hits him. Perfect. And he didn't reanimate. And then we can unearth ooh ooh conjured cloak ice bolt oh we didn't win that one okay we got a shield we got a shield so we're good mm, let's 
let's let's play this one out let's play this one out a little bit I make my own refuge that's fine we'll take the we'll take the damage what I'm doing is I'm stacking up some abilities so I'm using this enemy because he's you know not very hard we can sit here and not take damage because we had the uh, cloaks to kind of gain a little bit of benefit later on. Shelby doesn't reanimate here. Perfect. So now we have a full hand, a full hand of abilities going into like our next elite encounter. And we have to make a decision, you know, after the elite encounter. If we have a lot of abilities, we might just go ahead and hit the merchant. Uh, that'll delay our level up a while. So I don't know. Might be a good idea, might not be. I will Crocolist. Good thing, uh, and see like, like right here we can just, we can. I literally just kill him outright. And then we'll have five abilities and now if I go to the merchant that's gonna be most of our abilities gone but we can overdraw beforehand but then we pretty much need to just beeline straight for the level let's try it let's do let's try a merchant and see if he only has the like armor shield or if he just has three random items I am curious to know. Uh, let's drop an ice bolt and a volley. That said overdraw. Oh, uh, well then I can only have some. That's right. About those leaves. Okay, so like this is kind of what I was getting at, right? Like this isn't a consumable. So for two spades, we negate an attack. Like, that's really good. I'm willing to get rid of a couple cards for that, right? That's a that's a really good good card for us. It means, because we have such a low defense, that if we run into a situation where we're fighting an enemy that's like hitting us with pairs, we just can't draw pairs, two black cards. Uh... Let's ice bolt him. He's got spell shock. He's got spell shock. We'll have to kill him the old fashioned way. Hitting him in the face. Now see now right here though, unfortunately we didn't draw to negate. But fortunately, we have a pair of kings, so it's okay, man. It's okay. Unearth me. Ace me. Ace me, baby. Let's go. Let's go. All right. Upgrade, overdraw, or add an ability. Uh, if we were to upgrade anything, I don't know what it would be. Let's just look. Let's let's just upgrade something, huh? Uh, we can upgrade Lion's Mane. We know it's going to turn to that. Ice Javelin changes to a Queen. Um, Ice Bolt is automatically tapped. So that's what we want to do. What'd you miss? We went to the Merchant instead of getting a level up. That's all you missed. And we got a uh, a Tarn Cape. So negates negates attacks for two black cards, which is really good. What is a wild ward? Suffer minus one combat damage from cards with wild ranger suits. Okay. Uh, why don't you uh, ice bolt me? Ooh, that was close. Okay, why don't you unearth me? All right, we definitely want to conjure cloak here because we're going to be taking damage. Um, I think I'd rather just fire. Fire. 
and then ice jab. And we'll go ahead and intern there. Oh no, I can't beat him, but I can. But I can. Nice. Uh, overdraw is add an ability. Fireball plus two. Yeah, I think we can take that. I think that's pretty good. The seal of set's pretty good too, but fireball plus two is just kind of cream of the crop. Ooh. I like... I really like how this is like, you know, like an alchemic symbol type thing. Wait, wait, you shaved the beard? I have you did what? Drowning. What is the dungeon lobster drowning? D enemies of drowning deal damage equal to the number of rounds that have passed at the start of their turn. Ew. Ew. Unearth me? Um. All right, here's what we're gonna do. Hit him with some aces. Okay, and then hit him with a volley. Nice. And then let's mana main. Ooh, so close. And... Lion's main? Arcane volley? There we go. Easy peasy. Add a buff. Age armor plus one. No. Cyclone. No. Wreath of flames. Gain harm shield. Deal one damage to all enemies when replaced. Yeah, you know what? We'll take a wreath of flames. That's pretty... It's okay. We don't want to be getting hit, but... We'll, we'll take it. Um, good thing I have this last card trick, so we can turn you into that, and then just do a fireball. Um... You know what, let's- let's take the safe route, okay? Let's take the safe route. There we go. We're not going to attack. We're just going to take the safe route. There we go. Take the damage. Voice. Voice. All right. Uh, we can add another buff. Nah, no buff. We hit equipment and then we hit level up. I can sense the history in this artifact. Hmm. Not, not really what we want to see. Wait, oh, adder stone really don't help us too much. It, it don't really help us too much, but that's okay. All right, now we need to try to get maybe to our next level. It's oof, really far away, really far. I almost kind of want to avoid the events now that we've hit them. We can do an upgrade here, a removal here to a merchant. Let's do that. Oh, give me, Prepare give me a fireball. Just, just give me a fireball game. Just give me a fireball and it's, it's over. No fireball, huh? I'm wreathed in lion's flames. No fireballs, huh? No jacks either. There's a jack. Or a jack or higher. Alright. That's all we can do there in the turn. Yeah, take damage for attacking me. Then take another damage. Yeah, it hurts, doesn't it? 
we need uh I was gonna say we need the uh deal one damage random that would have been nice we didn't get it uh honestly i'm just gonna pass a turn they're gonna attack me and then die save our cards save our abilities let's hit an upgrade um i don't think i upgrade this But I can upgrade the other ice bolt. An arcane volley deal one damage per card you use to cast this ability. Now that we have level two, means we'll be getting all those cards back anyways. So that's like, just dump all of our red cards. Conjured Cloak is interesting, right? That turns our card into a net gain. Um, I think let's let's go ahead and do the volley. I think that's really going to help me more than anything. So this is a cool play. So hopefully it works out. We can try to. We can ice bolt. And then we're gonna ice javelin. Easy peasy. And there's another arcane volley plus one. Omega sigil plus one. Your next ability deals double damage, then remove. Your next ability deals double damage then remove it's a buff too oh then remove the buff oh and then we have a buff that deals one damage to everybody when we remove it so we could cycle our buffs it doesn't cost a card it costs an attack we can use that we can use that I have seen that end. Perfect, perfect example, right? Ish, not really. Okay, okay, okay. So we, we Omega Sigil. They all take one. Then we Arcane Volley. It should be two damage twice. Oh, it was only one. I guess it only did deal one damage to enemies. Oh, because it's dealing the damage twice, like two attacks would. Man. All right, we'll go ahead and kill this guy. Right, he's gonna be super strong, but we got two cards that we can just remove or we can just kill. Uh, reduce the card cost of an ability in your deck or add an ability. I want to go ahead and get another card. I'm not sure if that was the right choice. We kind of already have enough like damage cards. So like right here, I can do this and it's going to give me three shields, which is pretty good. And then we still cast cards and we get the cards back. All right, let's see if we can tap this guy. Nice. So we can fire this guy. Just fire him. Yeah, there we go. All right, end our turn. I probably should have attacked with the ace, but the thing is he's got defensive. No, it's not blocking. Oh, crap. I thought that was the block. Ew, no. Not good. It's okay. My it's what we got shields for, ancient. right? That's what we got shields for. Oh, 
All right, let's try this. Hit me with a king. We tied. Crap a doodle doo, but we drew another. Uh, we drew another card. So arcane volley for. Four. The bear takes a little bit. The other guy takes a bunch. And we pass the turn. He drew a jack. We got a queen. We Gucci. The stars are in alignment. Go ahead and unearth me. Go ahead and hit him with a pair of kings. Let's just finish them off instead. I was gonna try to get a couple more cards and then go for the merchant. It didn't look like it was gonna work. I think we would have took a lot more damage than it would have been worth. So we're just gonna take the trinket instead. Top deck when you take damage, if you you heal one HP if you draw a red card. Nothing wrong with that at all. Basically, 50-50 chance another fireball or a blizzard. Okay, we're gonna take the blizzard here. We're we're gonna just be the mage of fire and ice is what this is gonna boil down to. My power is ancient. Alright, we got Iron Bear. Iron Bear. Uh conjured cloak me. Okay. Let's go ahead and hit him with the kings. Cause why not? He ain't blocking that. And I'm gonna save the fireball. We don't have anything to block with, but he's only going to hit us for one. And we have a shield, so... Prepare yourself. Alright, unearth me. Go ahead and cloak me. Go ahead and cloak me. Hit him with a pair of jacks. Ooh! <laughs> Not nice, bear. Not nice. All right, we're just gonna have to stop playing around. Just gonna have to stop playing around and kill the bear. Now, looking here, we have a reduce, we have a reduce. Card shrines are cool. Why, bear? Card shrines are cool because they, they give us the ability to reduce the cost of cards. Oh, that... Well, that's going to give us not abilities, but actually change uh, the makeup of our poker deck. All right, let's hit the reduce cards because we're up to what? 14 cards, I think. 15 cards. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 16. Let's get rid of the card trick. Okay. Oh, this has reduced the cost. Hmm. Reduce the cost, huh? We can do fireball, we can do blizzard. Just make Ice Javelin free. Just make it completely free, huh? Do it again. Make both our Ice Javelins free? I need some, like, I need some draw. I'm, I'm worried that we don't have enough. I hate to say it, this card trick has come in handy a couple times. Now I don't know if I really want to get rid of it. That is not a valid attack. We need some sort of draw engine. 
That's more than just one card per turn. And I'll take a 50-50 we don't die. Let's just go ahead and get rid of them. Yeah, let's go ahead and get another card. I need some sort of draw. No draw. Till your end of your turn, your successful attacks containing a black card tap an enemy. Or another lion's mane. Let's take the lion's mane. So, how many lion's manes does that put us up to? Two? I'm okay with that. So that's basically 2.5 per card, which is good. Uh, it's a little bit better than a fire. So if you look at it like this, fires cost us one card and it's two damage. Lion's Mane costs us two cards, deals five damage. So it's 2.5 per card. That's a good card. Uh, Ice Javelin right now costs us three for no card. So best card in our deck, technically at the moment. Um, the Arcane Volley is two damage per card. So this is about like a fire, right? But it gives us a lot of utility when it's a plus one. So I think what we need to start looking for is like a removal. Oh, we have this guy coming up. And he's got ability seekers. <laughs> need a tiger. Stars are in alignment. Okay. Here we go. Easy, easy game. Lion's mane. An earth. Hit him with a pair of tens. Now life force means he's got like he's a five five. But if we hit him now, he's a three three. So he won't be able to the chances of him like doing damage to us is lessened by us doing damage to him. So we can just ne negate the attack. I have seen your end. Go ahead and unearth again. I'm going to wreath. I'm wreathed in the lion's flames. And that's it. We're gonna end turn. I've almost got a. I'm almost like wanting to rethink the way that I'm playing him too. Because Wreath of Flames means I can just sit here and collect more abilities, too. I don't always have to attack him. I don't always have to spend my abilities. I can just sit back and wait until I, you know, Wreath of Flame takes him down to the point where I can attack him. I think in some fights that might be okay to do. Um... So, Errant Bolt is two damage for one card that we and we can't control. It just is going to be two damage. It's not bad. It's a lot like having um, an Arcane Bolt. Prophecy, on the other hand, is three damage to all enemies when the target is defeated for one mana. But we have to make sure that enemy dies first too. If we had a lot of single target spells, this might be good. And we do have a lot of lion's mains. Let's go ahead and take the errant bolt. I don't like having to rely on a dependency. So like the fact that that's a debuff means I have to have an enemy on the board for that to be useful. I can see situations where I have only one enemy on the board draw that card. I would much rather just draw damage. So that's what we're going to go with. All right. Ability of Seekers gain one offense per ability in my hand. So these guys need to die uh, like yesterday. So to protect ourselves. Let's go ahead and Golden Pyramid. Cannot be broken. And we got a lot of... Uh... Well, 
All right, how do we want to do this? Let's go ahead. Ice bolt. Unearth. I wanted to see if I drew another red card, because then we would have lions mained one of these guys. Um Go ahead and ice bolt, see if we can tap one. Okay, that's good. Now we do have five armor, so even if these guys hit us with like trips, we shouldn't take much damage. It is the will of the storm. Okay. Let's go ahead and attack this guy with the ace. And then arcane volley. So now he's going to die when he attacks us. Okay, we got a pair of eights, but we can just uh, negate the attack. My power is ancient. Okay, 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 okay. We're doing good, we're doing good. Uh, we've got our lion's mane. But what I'd rather do is see if we can draw straight. Ace. Two, three, four, five. We have the straight, okay? Yeah, let's do it. Ace, two, three, four, five. We'll knock out one of these guys. By the Zodiac. And we should get all those cards back. And then we can... Let's go ahead and Lion's Main you. And then now we're set up good. So we can Arcane Volley. We can Fire. And then we have the Negate Attack if he's able to actually beat us. He's only drawing a King, so we're good. We drop an Ace on him. Uh, unearth. Um, so here's another one of those situations where it's like, dang, I was, I didn't think he'd draw a king. Huh. Okay. We'll just lie mains finish it. I was going to try to get some more abilities out, but. We're good on buffs. We're good on healing too, though. So let's just go see what other buffs are available for us. Gain one shield at the start of your turn. Tap all enemies when replaced. Plus one defense. Gain two shields when replaced. Or another harm shield. Um... I think the one that we can actually use is the tap all enemies. So I'm going to go ahead and grab that. I think this is our final level. We'll go ahead and take Locus of Magi. We need to look and see which way we want to go now. Um, I like our deck. I don't think we really need any more cards. What we really want, what I really want to do is kind of modify everything. So like, I want to hit like an upgrade or two. So we hit two upgrades there, but we'd have to add an ability. I don't want to add any more buffs. Remove up to five abilities from your deck. Okay, okay, if we were to move, remove five cards from this deck. Oh yeah, we can definitely do that. We're gonna go over there, we're gonna go trim this deck out. I'm glad I saw that. So, in order to get there... Yeah, we have to go up here. I have seen your end. Okay, so let's unearth. 
unearth me. So here's kind of what I was where I was like saying this card we could actually use this. We can buff and then we can cycle it. And everything's gonna get tapped. So we don't have to worry about getting hit next turn. And now that it's tapped, Ice Javelin just kills one of them. Wait, why did it do What just happened? Why did everything die? I'm so confused. I don't understand. We'll take it. Um, let's remove this arcane volley because once again, that's just one for two and we can't control where it goes. Okay. We need to get some black cards in our hand. We need one more black card in our hand. Let's go ahead and golden pyramid. The pyramid cannot be broken. Drew another black card, tap them all. There we go. Nice. Still having our, we still have an attack too. So we can just like go ahead and kill that one. I have seen and kill this one. Oh, you piece. Unearth me. Um. That's okay. We could have played that a little different, I think, but it's okay. We don't want to add any more abilities, or do we? We do. We do. Wow, all of these are really good. So, Conjure Cloak plus two is really good for us. Like I said before, this is a this is a net gain. Net gain for us. We get to cycle out black cards for red cards for all of our damage spells. Frost Weave plus two is really good too, though. And you pair that with our Omega Sigil. And that's tap and deal two to all enemies. But the damage component on this isn't so much the big thing, it's the tap. Being able to tap all the enemies basically means we don't take attacks from them. But gaining shields is just as good too. I'm gonna take the cloak. And what we'll probably do is we'll probably get rid of one of the lower cloaks. So like just the normal cloak My plus one. Is we'll probably get rid of that and then um, keep this one. All right, unearth me. Nothing. So go ahead and conjured cloak me. And fireball. Me. So like right there, we only were really using the Conjured Cloak to cycle. We weren't even using it for anything else. We were using it to cycle, which is okay. It's not a bad thing to do. So... Let's go ahead and get rid of the card trick. One for two, one for two, but anything. Okay, so we're trimming. So let's get rid of the Conjured Cloak. We still have three to get rid of. Um, I'm gonna get rid of the Armor to Frost. Let's get rid of both of the fires now. Yeah. So we thinned, we thinned our deck out pretty far. What are we down to 14 again? I would rather be casting Lion's Manes than just Fires or a red Errant Bolt all day long. Um, or even Ice Javelins for that matter. 
So I think that's a good play. I think that's a good good decision. All right. Oh, prepare yourself. Okay. Uh, how about you unearth me? Uh, go ahead and sure. Set him for a pair of tools. How does it get seven? This dude pulls out seven at us out of just nowhere. It's okay. We can heal if we have to. Okay. End our turn. The star is on alignment. Okay, try me an ice bolt. Close, no cigar. Unearth me? I make my own refuge. Trip queens, huh? Can't really pass that up. And we'll redraw those cards anyways, so. That's a good. And then arcane volley for four? And Lion's Bane. Oh, yeah, cause I don't want him to attack me. Dude's got eight. I don't want him to attack me. We, we would have taken more damage. Taken more damage. Alright. What has he got? Siphon? What is this? Care... Kepri? Plus one. Dude, some of these enemies are like really hard. Siphon? So he heals. Superiority. And then Blazing Presence. None of those are good. That's all really bad for us. That's really, really bad. Okay. We in turn. We healed off Hydra Blood, which is good. He drew three sevens. Okay. Uh, let's just negate that. Seems like a good idea. Um, ice bolt me? Rats? Unearth me? Ooh, ooh. Omega sigil? Lion's mane, but he's gonna be at one HP. That's not good. Names of the lion. If only I didn't have this and had just any other card. <laughs> Three fives. Look at that draw. All right. Well, we can negate it again, so that's fine. I will. Yeah, I guess just hit him with three jacks. I just went ahead and used all three just in case. Let's I'm not worried about our HP. Our HP is low, but we still have the seed of life and we have the adder stone. So we can get we can get health back from both of those. Let's see what armors we get. Two max health plus one defense. Okay, not mad. Not mad at that at all. Um, let's go ahead and overdraw three. Ooh, what are these? Nightmare fuel. Terra Stellis. Enemies with enraging deal one attack damage per offense. And gain one offense at the end of their turn. Okay, that's scary. Alright. Yeah, let's go ahead and Errant Bolt. It is the will of the storm. Mm. 
Are they both? T they're both tapped. Why are they both tapped? There we go. Give me that harm shield. Kill this one. We'll also damage that one, so then we can. Oh, we're so close. I could still do it, but it's gonna cost me. I'd rather just uh, we'll just hold off and wait. That's what I kind of figured. We have enough cards. Uh, we'd have enough cards to be all right. Let the harm shield finish them off. Okay, we can remove an ability or add an ability. Let's go ahead and trim, trim down. Um, honestly, I. The Omega symbol is sigil is kind of come in handy, but I'm really not feeling the other two. We already removed the other buff. Let's just keep our one buff. All right, we got Infernal Cleric. He transfers life. Uh, transfer their HP to defeated enemies or to their defeated ally in order to return them to life. Okay, that's fine. We've got fireballs, so. Let's lead off with that. Okay. And then... Blizzard? But before we Blizzard, Unearth? And then now Blizzard. You can't transfer life if everything's dead. Yeah, that's just nasty. Now, unfortunately, we have a choice of a short rest or a buff. I'd rather see if we can get like an upgraded buff. We didn't. I don't want any of these, so we're just going to skip it. This Cloak of Dust. You deal one combat damage during the first round of each encounter. I will take it. So we need to try to attack if we can on the first go around. I'll go play for a weapon. Yeah, we'll do an elite group encounter for a weapon. We still have a good amount of cards. Uh, and we still can do stuff like, you know, we got Tarn... Tarn Cup. Tarn Cuppy. Tarn Cuppy. I can cast this on the defense? Okay, that's good to know. Okay, and we don't have We don't have everything we want That's okay Now that died from locus the five damage that split one everywhere else I have an ice javelin All right, let's go ahead and hit him. He gets an extra damage. Oh, look at this look at the guy drawing the aces. Look at that guy drawing the aces. Now I got to use another one on you. Or we can go ahead and do one of those. He's got spell ward and defensive, so he's kind of scary. Spell ward means he takes one less. Okay, well, he's not too scary. Though. And we'll just save the rest. We'll let him keep attacking us, and... I cannot use that again this round. Oh. Well, we'll just kill him then. We'll just kill him. Hey, Lily. Hey, Lily, look. They added a Slay the Spire mode. It's 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 like just like Slay the Spire. You just start off like a base deck and you got to build the deck through the dungeon. You deal one combat damage with cards that have their suit or value wild. Okay. Oh yes. Yes, they did. Let's hit the event. I can sense You deal one combat damage with single card. But minus one combat damage with multi card hands. You deal one con- yeah, we'll do this. That's fine. 
Um, no abilities. We don't want to heal. So we'll take the ability. Let's see what we can get. Black hole plus one. Defeat all enemies with six HP or less. Yes. Oh, yeah, it is. Oh, yeah. All right. Conjure cloak me. Go ahead and ice bolt. Ice Javelin? Unearth me? Black hole me. Mage is OP. Mage is so good. Let's upgrade an ability. Can I upgrade the buff? It's not letting me upgrade the buff. Okay. So this goes from being one damage per one card, right? So how many cards we use to basically six damage for three cards, which bumps it up to one card for two damage, which is our where we want to be base. I think I'm good with that. That's pretty good, too. Let's get the volley up. Now, the only, the only kind of like, we're running into a, we might be running ourselves in a corner because we got a bunch of cards that cost three. But I think we'll be okay. So like, bolt him. Ice bolt him. Win the top deck. Tap his bitch ass. The card we're really not using anymore is the Golden Pyramid, if I'm being, if we're being honest with ourselves. Those aren't really getting used. We can change this to a King. Okay. It's going to deal... No, this isn't the first round, is it? Yeah, we're in the first round. So it's going to deal one extra damage and then it's going to deal one more because of this. That's five damage. How come? With cards that have had their suit, I guess because it's a joker, it's already wild. That's kind of lame. That's kind of lame. Um, unearth me. Conjure me. Lions main me? Pass my turn. Seems pretty good, man. Seems pretty good. Let's go ahead and heal up. We don't need any more cards. We're good. Let's go. Let's go take Infernus down. It is the will of the storm. All right, we don't have. See, this is where I was saying we get into a situation where we don't have any red cards. But what we do have is two black cards. So if we can't beat his attack, like right now, um, we can go ahead and Golden Pyramid. So let's do that first. Cannot be broken. Uh, we still can't beat the Kings. We don't want to get rid of all of our black cards. So we'll just block there. And then now this time... Oh, we can actually beat him this time though. Okay, so let's beat him. Alright, unearth me. Go ahead and blizzard me. Ice bolt me. Pass turn me, or let's just go ahead and hit him. We'll go ahead and hit him. That's fine. No, we won't hit him. He's just too good. He's just too good. I have seen the end. All right. Ooh. Arcane volley me.
I don't want to get rid of the, the black cards. Because we may need to, we're going to probably have to conjure cloak. Oof. Deal three damage. Oh, if I could just tap them. Let's just go for it. If we draw a red card, we're good. Yeah, there we go. We draw a red card. We win. Easy peasy. Hey. We beat spring. We beat spring. I must be shoe arrogance. Even if it is S rank wonder. on the second try? Okay. Okay. We'll take it. And we get a bunch of cardo nuts. Okay. It's only giving us. Ooh. See, I'm wondering if I couldn't, I couldn't upgrade this because I didn't have the card yet. It, it didn't even give me the option to upgrade it. Interesting. Deal two damage to all enemies when you fail a defense. Interesting. We just won. We won. It's really good, dude. It's really good. And then there's the Wreath of Flames plus two. Deal three damage to all enemies and one damage to yourself at the end of your turn. Whoa. Whoa. Inevitable? Negate the traits of all enemies until you use an ability or until end of turn. Flux Bolt. These. I feel like these are new cards. I didn't read like the patch notes, but I should go look and see. I'm thinking maybe they added some new cards. Gain a shield when you deal damage to enemy adjacent to Simon's beacon. Awesome. Awesome.